now. 16 minutes away from 7 o'clock, and we've all heard about the coronavirus that's going around. Do we have to worry about that right here in our corner of the Mid-South? To answer that question, we turn to one of the preeminent experts in this area. It's Dr. Jay Sizemore, and Dr. Sizemore is an infectious disease specialist. First of all, thanks for fighting the elements and coming down and joining us here. Oh, my pleasure, Chip. Exactly what is coronavirus? If you had to break it down into a 30-second sound bite, what would it be? So coronaviruses have been around for a long time, and in fact, uh, many coronaviruses cause the common cold uh, that we experience each and every season. The novel coronavirus that uh, has originated in Wuhan, China, is a virus that has crossed over uh, from, from animals, uh, and it seems to be very similar to uh, previous coronavirus outbreaks that some of you all may remember because MERS or SARS. Right. Um, Symptomatically, how does this manifest itself? So classically, respiratory symptoms and fever. That's what the CDC is using in their case definition to try to identify people that we should investigate uh, as possibly being infected. How dangerous is this virus? So, so far worldwide in cases that we know about, about 28,000 cases have been reported wow. with 560 deaths. So somewhere around 2% of people that get this virus are dying. That's a pretty staggering number. What do we need to be on the lookout uh, on the lookout for? And uh, you see a lot of people wearing these masks, all right, when you're out traveling at the airport and sometimes in one of your local shopping malls. Do these help? Do they hurt? So they certainly don't hurt. If we had a person under investigation uh, that came into the emergency department at Erlanger, the first thing that we would do is put a mask on that person and then we would, we would get them into an isolation room while we do further investigation. Is there any treatment that you know to be effective in fighting the coronavirus? As of this time, there's no vaccine for the coronavirus. There's no medication that's uh, effective for it. Certainly people are interested in developing vaccines and looking at uh, potential antiviral medications, but right now the treatment is supportive. Meaning what? Treatment is supportive. So we would treat the patient's symptoms, we would support their blood pressure, we would, uh, if they needed to be put on a ventilator to support their breathing, we would do that as the body's immune system tried to fight off the virus. A moment ago you mentioned MRSA and several other things, and as a infectious disease specialist, does this coronavirus scare you? I think it has the potential to scare. I think the, our public health leaders at the CDC have taken uh, aggressive, appropriate actions to try to limit the spread of the virus in the U.S. We just had our 12th case identified uh, in Wisconsin uh, yesterday. As many, uh, as many people may have heard, we're quarantining people who have come back from Wuhan at military bases across the country uh, for 14 days. Again, efforts to try to limit the spread. There have been two person-to-person uh, -person spreads, so travelers coming back and passing it uh, to their close uh, contacts, but so far, uh, thankfully, the spread has been limited in the U.S. Do you know any of the cases that are here locally? Have, so, have you heard of any of those that have been reported locally? Right. So we, we have not had any cases uh, here locally, um, but we certainly have protocols in place as to when patients come into our care, we're asking them about travel to China, we're asking them about fever and respiratory symptoms, and if we find someone who meets the CDC's case definition, uh, we'll test them appropriately. And you may have heard the story that came out just a few hours ago about how some folks are trapped on a cruise ship for another two weeks because of this virus. <laughs> that would have to be scary. And you know, when we had, uh, I guess, I don't know if it was MRSA or whatever it was a couple of years ago, people were going into a panic. That's right. the last thing we need to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do you think the most appropriate course of treatment is if you or someone you suspect may have encountered this? So obviously you need to, you need to seek care uh, immediately and uh, then we need to take the appropriate measures to limit the spread so that it doesn't, so, you, so we don't infect other individuals. Has this fallen into the classification of a pandemic yet or an epidemic? It has, it has. So it's definitely, uh, it's definitely epidemic uh, in China. Uh, there's been spread. Uh, to many countries across the world. The cases in other countries have been rather uh, limited to date. 
uh, but certainly the World Health Organization and the CDC has recognized the potential danger of this virus. Again, Dr. Jay Sizemore, one of the preeminent infectious disease specialists here in the Chattanooga area. We're fortunate to have you. Thank you for joining us and sharing your time and expertise. Stay with us. We are back right after this.